Well, it's an annual tradition, one of the most vibrant and unique to West Michigan events that we have. Yeah, we're talking fun right now. The Coast Guard Festival kicked off just hours ago. That's where we find Doug Reardon. He's given us a preview of everything that's there to offer and a history lesson. Is that right, Doug? Just a little one, guys. Nothing too heavy here, but we want everyone to understand the fantastic and rich tradition that this festival has in our area. So this is my seventh Coast Guard Festival, and I always affectionately refer to today as the calm before the storm. We've seen a lot of people downtown and a lot of setting up going on. We do have a few events today, but before we get to that, yeah, Josh, like you said, I'm a history guy, so I can't not pass up the opportunity to talk about what this means. So I, funny enough, the first uh, Coast Guard Festival was unofficial. It started back in 1924, and it was really just at that point a way for families to get together uh, and talk about uh, whatever you need to talk about and have some rowing competitions, have a picnic. The official first Coast Guard Festival uh, was actually in 1937, celebrating the bravery and sacrifice of our Coast Guard members, and it has grown quite a bit since those years. They expect over 350,000 people to show up to this year's Coast Guard Festival. Now, on to that uh, events, uh, on to the events that we want to talk about. So uh, the Lighthouse Quilt Guild Show. If you missed that today, no need to worry. That's going to continue tomorrow, 9 to 4. Also going on today pretty shortly is Aero Force. They're an Aerosmith tribute band taking the stage. We actually have a few tribute bands performing this year at the festival. And then looking farther ahead, on Monday we have the Parade of Ships, which is always fun and you can also start touring those ships on Monday that's going to be an option for you all the way through next Saturday and it is really cool you don't get this access all the time to see these ships up close and inside so I encourage everyone to take advantage of that uh, the carnival starts on Tuesday so if you're craving fair food that would be the time Tuesday through Saturday to come uh, come down and get it and then fast forward to next Friday at 4 p.m. we have the National Memorial Service for members of the Coast Guard who lost their lives in the line of duty that's going to be at Escanaba Park right here where we are now and it's also paired that same day with the Walk of Coast Guard History exhibit that's opening at Grand Haven City Hall and heads up that is a ticketed event and then I think our personal favorite attraction here at the festival is the parade that's going to be one week from tomorrow on Saturday it kicks off at 1145 and we will be there we are there every single year we love coming out and meeting everybody and getting to take in the festival ourselves so we're very much looking forward to that and everything that is to come before it so we're gonna head home I'm full of Bush's uh, beach burritos uh, my photographer Darren and I are uh, so we're just gonna enjoy the ride home guys and we'll see uh, everyone out here hopefully within the next couple of days live in Grand Haven Doug Reardon Fox 17 News